Hi friends, how are we doing? It's the 12 o'clock noon hour and you know what that means. This is Chris from my girlfriend's quilt shop and thank you so much for joining me today. I am so excited about our special guest today. I can hardly wait, but uh, while we wait for just a few minutes for everyone to get on, I want you to go ahead and let me know you're here and say hi and tell us where you're joining us from. All right, what do we have? Who do we have, I should say? What do we have? <laughs> Yay, Sharon from Mississippi. You're the first person to chime in. Hi, Jan, always good to see you. Who else is out there with us today? So at the nine o'clock hour this morning, we did our daily deal and those deals are still available for those of you who want to get in on that. Uh, you can just type in deal of the day on mygirlfriendsquiltshop.com and you'll see all of those pop up. All right, <laughs> Linda shares, I'm back for my education. Yay, Linda. <laughs> so we've got Sherry from Minnesota. Hi, Teresa. Gloria, Elaine, Donna, Marianne, Debbie, Kathy, Idaho Falls, Milwaukee, Oregon. I didn't know there was a Milwaukee, Oregon. I just learned something new today. <laughs> Denise shares that she's from Logan, coming to us from her, on her lunch hour from her home office. <laughs> yep, I'm in my home office too, AKA my kitchen. <laughs> There you go. Hi, Sandy, Shirley, Karen, so good to see you all. Oh, Susan, I miss you, lady. Miss you, miss you like crazy. Hi, Dee, welcome from New Hampshire. Oh my goodness, so many wonderful friends who are getting on and uh, we have a lot of people who are new and a lot of people who I, I'm just getting to know every day as you continue to join us on this journey. Hi, Casey. Welcome, welcome. All right, Sue, always good to see you, Janet. All right, so thank you all. Uh, keep on chiming in, letting us know where you're joining us from. It's always good to see that I'm not talking to a, a blank screen out there. <laughs> all right, good afternoon. Oh my goodness. Ah, Deborah says, I'm from California and I'm Amanda's biggest fan. That's good to know. She, I have a feeling she's got a lot of fans out there. I know I have been a definite fan of Amanda's for a long time. Yes, I can't wait to have her tell us all of her new themes and what she's going to be doing. Oh, Oh, Patty said that her internet went out after a storm last night. It just came back on about 20 minutes ago. Phew, just in time, just in time. Welcome, welcome. All right, everyone. So without any further ado, I want to introduce to you my wonderful friend here. Let me bring her on. Miss Amanda Niederhauser, hello. Hi, friends. <laughs> How are you doing today, Amanda? I put on makeup, I did my hair, and I got out of my pajamas. <laughs> hey, there you go. That's that's called uh, that's called a, a big win in my book. Yes. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's you know crazy times, and and sometimes it's just easier just to stay in bed all day or just to stay in your pajamas. Let's be honest, right? I could be up, but I could be staying in my pajamas all day, right? Yes. But so I'm saving so... a lot of on hair products and makeup and anyway. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And for those of you who might not know, Amanda is coming to us live from Corona, California. How, how, how how's... can you believe Corona? That's yeah. crazy. How's that name working for you? Yeah. Chris is from Corona. I am. She lived in Corona. Mm -hmm. Now I live in Corona. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we live in Corona. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's, it's the name that is in all over the news right now, right? But not for that reason. <laughs> 
When I first heard the coronavirus, I thought it was slang for something that was just going around our town. And then I was like, oh, no, that's not it at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. So Corona, California. But as in all of California, you you guys are you're you're hunkered down right now, aren't you? Yeah, this is week four of lockdown. Mm. So kids are out of school um, for the rest of the year. We're scrambling, trying to do online and figure out how we're going to get grades. But we have stayed in. I leave the house once a week, and that's wow. it. Wow. And so, you, guys, you guys are doing it right, right? You're, you're seeing uh, progress yeah. there. Like, so if everyone does it, then hopefully... Hopefully, we don't have to do it much longer. Exactly. Exactly. But, I'm home, but anyway, we've been practicing for this our whole life, ladies, <laughs> right? A wall full of fabric all the time in the world. <laughs> I mean, that's just making me. That's exactly right. And, you know, yeah. But <laughs> that's exactly Looking right. on the bright side. Looking on the bright side. You always have to do that, right? Oh, yep. Nancy Boone, yeah. I knew you'd be on here. She says she's from Corona also. <laughs> I think we need to meet. Yes, you do. Fellow quilters, unite. When this is all over, you and Nancy will have to go out for lunch or something. That would be so fun. <laughs> okay, do you want to see the background here? Oh, Our little. Who do we have? I know. This is Mufasa. Oh. Uh, uh. He is Sir, such he, that's a, a little quilt. For his birthday. Did you say hey. for his birthday? Yeah, I made him that quilt for his birthday, and he sleeps on it every day. <laughs> <laughs> that was really, Amanda. You kill me. I, the you that cat is the most. Um, I think the most photographed cat on the internet. Let me see if I can pull up a picture here. He's beautiful. Look at that. And he, look, he, he, so he's always there. So he's always there. He has the most beautiful yeah. eyes. How long have you had him? Um, Mufasa is five years old. Five so years old. We got him a little tiny kitten. Oh, <laughs> well, he's beautiful. What, 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 he? A lot of people ask what breed is he, and he's a Bengal, okay. and they are um, they were a little bit more, you know, he's not just your cat you ignore. He's like a dog, so we play, <laughs> we interact, we talk, we're always doing something. So <laughs> <laughs> I love it, I love it, and I know you can't see it on the screen, but I did, I did grab a beautiful shot of Mufasa, but there's so uh -oh. many. Oh my goodness. You just have to get on Amanda's Instagram feed and you'll see him. They're so beautiful. He is a beautiful cat. I will tell you that for sure. <laughs> Connie says that he looks like my Bengal. Oh. Yep. Twinners. <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we know a lot of a lot of us who follow you know that you um love your cat right and and that's where a lot of your inspiration comes from as well right yeah is from right is from him and so let but let's go backwards just a little bit in time how did the two of us meet do you remember well um it my husband's family's from Logan, which is where your store is. Mm -hmm. And so um, my daughter, Ella, we would send her to grandma's for a week every summer before the whole family would go. And we would let her have a week at grandma's. And I remember um, David's mom was like, there's this brand new quilt shop in town called My Girlfriend's Quilt Shop. And they're doing these classes in the summer for, for kids. So I signed Ella up for some classes. So Ella went, before I even have seen your shop, she went and she made these cute little tote bags out of um, flannel squares. She made a belt and some really cute things. And so, of course, when I um, came the next week, I was like, I have to come see the shop. <laughs> and then I figured out that 
from Corona and my parents are from Corona and then I ended up moving to Corona. <laughs> and anyway, so That's too I've known you since the beginning. Yep, since the beginning. And Ella has grown up quite a bit, hasn't she? Yeah, was, she was little now. She's on her mission and coming home from England in a month. So oh, in a month. Countdown. Big a time. Month. Yeah. Countdown. Oh, yeah. Weird. She's such yeah. a beautiful, she's such a beautiful girl. Oh, she's so beautiful. And she helps you with uh, some of your designing too, doesn't she? Right. Scaredy Cat was actually a college project she did at Utah State. Um, she had to do a scary cartoon. And so she came up with this, <laughs> with this cat. And he was the villain in the comic. And he does look like a villain. And I was like, oh, my goodness. And we actually used to have a black cat that looked just like no this. Way. His name was Toomsis. <laughs> yeah. And he She's a good little a artist. He would change. Yeah. So these are all her little. These are. This was her cat from the comics. And then oh I was like, goodness. okay, let's, let's pull some ideas and let's do yeah. some bones and some, you know, let's. <laughs> Let's make something out of this. So anyway, I well, love and, it. And she's a quilter herself. So I bet you just can't wait for her to come home and the two of you sew together. I know. Yeah. And, and, and you it's hope fun. that that time will stand still a little bit longer before she's off no. to college again, right? Yes. Oh. So, yes, we have more things that are more drawings for That's fabric awesome. in the store. That's awesome. Yeah, but... Um, but Security Cat is shipping, um, here's a little storyboard, it ships to stores April 15th. So oh that's gosh. so exciting. I'm so it's excited. It's going to be here. I'm so excited. And I know excited. it's hard to find, but you want to get a jump on things because yeah. hopefully the fall is going to be busy with parties and events, so mm -hmm. you'll have all your stuff. It is hard to think about, like, pre-thinking right now about Halloween, isn't it? But it, But it's coming. It's coming for yeah. sure. <laughs> so April fifteenth. Okay, everyone. Right. and then we there, will put it online. Um, and then there's five patterns that are being released. Also, Yay. um, so excited, Sally. I'm downstairs, putting them all in um, plastic bags so I can <laughs> ship them. It's like two thousand. Yay! <laughs> well, hey, that's that's good for you know. That's good for them to do when they get tired of doing their schoolwork for a little bit. Have a little bit of a break, help mom stuff patterns, okay. all of that, right? Yeah. So, so I, I want to do a trunk show, but before we do that, I think we need to figure out the answer to this pressing question. Are you ready for it? Okay. Where, where, <laughs> you don't know what I'm going to ask, no. Um, where did the name Jedi Craft Girl come from? I've always wondered that. Uh, well, when I started my blog, it was back when people were kind of starting blogs. And I don't know, I've been a quilter for 21 years. And I was like, well, yeah, I could, I'm doing this anyway. I could put pictures and document it. It was mostly for me to keep uh -huh. track of what I was making. And at the time, our family was heavy into Star Wars. And this was before Star Wars had this resurgence with all okay. the new movies right when you really like the old movies and we loved the old movies now uh -huh. everyone likes right not that cool anymore. it used to be cool and we were cool right you were, you were cool <laughs> anyway. before it was cool <laughs> yes so we've been there the whole time uh-huh and anyway. so um it just kind of i don't know just kind of evolved from that yeah so, I love it. Yeah. Well, you, you've had an amazing blog for a long time. How many years have you had this blog? Oh, oh I don't, I think it's been like eight or nine. Yeah. Years. And, and you're always giving to so, such wonderful tutorials and how to's. And I, I was thinking about us as I was pre preparing for today, I thought to myself, what for a long time, I would think, I'm shocked she doesn't have a fabric line yet. I'm shocked she doesn't have a fabric line yet. I can't believe nobody's picked her up yet. Um, she she is so incredible. She's doing all these patterns out there. I, I'm just really surprised. 
how did it finally come to be that Riley Blake was so fortunate to be able to have you come on as a designer? Um, well, I have, Riley Blake has been a supporter of me since the beginning. They've just been generous and giving fabric and highlighting things. And we've just had this friendship and relationship for a long time. Yeah. And I have always been like, okay, what about these ideas? And it's like, yeah. And then finally, I think we got serious, Ella and I, and we put together something and we're like, here, here it is. Here is Scaredy Cat. And they were like, yeah, we want to do it. So yeah. I think it was just the right time and yeah. the right design and the right everything. Mm -hmm. So well, anyway. And, and this is your first line? This is, yeah. And yeah. line number two is going to be at fall market. It's done. Yay. And it's so cute. And when will line number Thanks. two come out? Um, that is January. In January. Okay. So we'll be all be waiting on bated breath for that because everything you do is so, so cute. I love it. I love everything you do. So why don't you take us um, step by step on some of your tips for doing half score triangles? Because I know a lot of your projects um, involve that. Do you mind? I'm um, sure. I'm drawn to half square triangles for some reason, but then I, after like cutting 200 out, I'm like, why am I doing this? Rectangle squares only. Remember, <laughs> rectangle squares only. That's this right. is not fun. <laughs> um, and then I design a pattern and it's full of triangles. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, <laughs> so I've tried different things and, um, Sometimes in the past, I used a Sizzix machine to cut them, and then I kind of got away from that. And then I used to cut them exactly like two and seven eighths inch, and just oh, no. hope that my was accurate. And then no. that was like, no, that's not working. <laughs> no. But then I always, I always make them bigger, and then yes. square them up, which is yep. the prettiest. But gosh, that squaring up is tedious. Yeah. So I decided I'm not a big notions person because I just am a rotary cutter girl. Mm -hmm. So a few people have met me, like you should try a half square triangle ruler. So I was like, okay, I will try a notion. <laughs> it's life changing. So I got one. It is. Who knew? <laughs> oh no, they weren't. <laughs> so, anyway, so um, I, I now use a half square triangle ruler and okay. it's made all different. So, I can show you if yeah let's if do it let's turn the camera around yeah there we go and i even have pants on i'm not pajama pants i have real <laughs> jeans on there you go just in case. okay <laughs> by the way so, can, can by the way your room right there is absolutely beautiful beautiful I think we, so, look at that this is, uh, yeah so anyway inspiring oh my goodness wow that's like flywall and then more in the 360. Ooh, I love it. <laughs> anyway, my husband redid this room um, when we moved for my birthday present one year. Um, so it could, and the kids, they wanted it to be um, an, a gym, like a workout room. And I'm like, like we live no. in California. Y'all outside. That's right. <laughs> this is not going to be a workout room. Exactly. So, Anyway. It's beautiful. Okay, so back to where. So, for example, last night, 200 half square triangles. I'm working on a new pattern, and I hope it's done by Friday because it's for spring. Oh and I want goodness. it to be before Easter. Oh, <laughs> um, right? Okay. So then I have my little. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swing around here. See if you can see me. Okay, I have my little ruler. And Chris can put up. Um, you can show the rulers that you carry in the shop. Yes. Maybe. Um, so they'll know which rulers. Yeah, um, and then, any half square, there's a lot of good half square triangle rulers out there. So definitely. Um, and so how I used to do it was maybe how you guys do it, where you open up the half square triangle and press it and then trim off all four sides. And that's four cuts times 200, which mm -hmm. is a lot. So the ruler saves you half. So you keep it folded in half, like 
like we've just cut them apart because um, they make two. And then you put it on your spinny mats, your rotating little mats. And then the ruler has seam lines. So you line the seam up with the seam line for, I'm making two and a half inch. So I find the two and a half inch. And then I just cut one side. Oh my goodness. I usually don't do it on the ironing board. I'm going to move this so, so we can see it a little bit better. There we go. And then you cut the other side. So you cut the two sides. And now when you press it open, it's perfect. And it's just literally cut the cutting in half to just oh. two cuts per, per instead of the four I used to do. So exactly. it's half the time. Half the time, so, yeah. Instead of watching four movies, you only get to watch two movies. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and then I love the wool pressing mats. I don't know if you yes. guys use them. Love they them. smell like a barn yard. But, yep. you know, but they work really well. Right. Yep. So then I just give a little press. And sometimes, usually my patterns, you press open. But this pattern, luckily, it's um, pressed to the dark. Oh. Um, why, do you, is there a reason anyway. why you like to do yours open? Um, usually, my patterns have um, triangles, meeting triangles. And it's just so much bulk that if um. we open them, then it's left. Yeah. So on this pattern, doing no triangles touch other triangles. Um, so we're going to press them to one side. Mm, okay. Good to well, know. We'll be yeah, the half square triangle ruler, oh my friends, makes all the difference. Oh my goodness. It like like Amanda said, it cuts your time in half. And yeah. it just makes things so much easier and the rotating mat and we have a special on our website right now, not only for the half square triangle, but also for the rotating mat. And both of those are 30% yeah. off right now. So if you don't have That's one good. of those, get one. A big notion to buy like every gadget, but that yep. is one thing that I can't live without. Oh, so. absolutely. I, I feel the same. In fact, it's ridiculous that I have, I probably own at least three half square triangle rulers just because I don't want to be caught without one. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, nobody's got good. time nobody's got time for two and seven eighths. That's crazy. No. 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 Came up with that. Exactly. Exactly. It's it's so true. And I I love the wool mats too. And and that is still a fairly new newish item out there on the market. But the wool mats yeah. keep I the I the heat them. on the bottom and the top. It's okay. nice. I feel like it's like a really nice flat surface. So, absolutely, absolutely. Wow. Okay, I'm just I'm taking notes here. By the way, let me take a minute just to make sure that everyone knows. I'm going to bring this up on the screen here. That if you haven't downloaded your workbook yet, go to our website and. Find uh, the, the, the printable workbook for this week. You'll see here on the screen, I've got Amanda's notes here uh, for you to be able to jot down some notes. So with each of my guests last week and this week, uh, we kind of go through these, these six parts of the segment. And so I, it's a really a great way for you to be able to follow along with the conversation. And I know a lot of you have already downloaded it and are taking notes like crazy, which is good. I love hearing that. You wanna write down all the tips and tricks that these wonderful designers share with you. So if you haven't done so already, make sure and go on our website and download your free printable workbook for that. All right? Okay. All righty. So what what else do you have other like favorite tips that you like to share with people when it comes to uh piecing so, you know sewing anything like that um i feel like i'm super basic like i don't you think so again like rotary cutter chain piecing iron and mats repeat repeat <laughs> And just keep doing it, right? Um, just keep doing yeah. it. Just keep going. Right. 
what I'm working on, um, I don't know if you can see these. <gasps> They're all Liberty um, yes. prints mm -hmm. from Lake. Lake. Um, and so I've had them sitting out, all fanned out. Will you hold for like up a one month. more time? Oh, look at um, that. We have those garbage, in our shop, but, by the way. Yes. Um, hey. Um, I got so on color. Okay. Someone asked me what color, um, sorry, someone texted me and asked what color the paint was in the oh. sewing room. Oh. It's going to, um, it's called Tidewater. Okay. By Sherwin. -Lewis. Good to know. I think every quilt her husband. Yeah. So Tidewater. Tidewater. We got it. <laughs> anyway, back to this. So I've had these sitting out for a month, the, um, fat quarters of this Liberty. Uh-huh. And it's spring. Coral, and I've just been like trying to figure out, you know, what I want to make because you only get one chance to cut into fabric, right? And then yes. it's it's done. That's true. So that's you true. have to make sure that it's like the right thing, and it's like so much pressure. Like I can make so many things with this. What's it going to be? So mm -hmm. I just have this inspiration for this pattern, and so I've been cutting it out last night, and I'm trying to finish it because I want to do um, a free pattern this Easter weekend. Oh, so I'm hoping to I get it. it. Oh, it's really cute and I love it, but you know, you kind of want to see it all together and then yes. you're like, okay, that. <laughs> yes, exactly. So. That would be awesome. That would be so neat. And they can, oh, they can find it by following you on Instagram, right? Or going to your right. website, jedicraftgirl.com. So let's see, I, we, we're getting a few questions coming in. Uh, Victoria asked, what is the name of the fabric line that you, I'm guessing that you just showed? That's Liberty so, of London. This one is Summer House. Let's see, here's mm -hmm. a larger piece. Hang on, Liberty of London. Yeah. So it is um, Flower Show is the name of this line they have quite a few right now um from that riley blake is carrying uh -huh. i just did a with um winterborn that i love and this one is um these are all so cute i don't know if you can see them but it's called oh, yeah. flower show and they're all like um very spring summer so very um very British. We love everything British at my house, and it's not just because Ella's in England, but <laughs> I've loved British everything since I was born. <laughs> you know, you know what? How true that is. Because when she, when I saw that she was going to England, I thought, okay, how perfect is that? Because you have always been a huge fan of all of that. Yeah, always like British literature, TV, anything. So oh, that's great. That's great. I love yeah. it. I love it. So that's a new project you're working on. Can't wait to see that all come together. That will be fun. And uh, let's go ahead and get into some of your newest patterns that we just listed in our store at my okay. girlfriend's quilt shop. And we'll do a little trunk show. Now, what she's going to share are patterns that come from her brand new line called Scaredy Cat, which we will be carrying. and. Now is the time to get ready for Halloween, my friends. I, I know it sounds crazy, but now's the time. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this off, and I'm going to bring this on. Tell us what this one is called. Okay, so this one is called Pumpkin Mini. It's um, It measures 30 inches square, and it uses, um, you can use 10-inch squares to, to make this. So a lot of... Um, shops are kitting it with 10 inch squares just because that's an easy kit size so Definitely. it has um it has four little black stars and then patchy leaves and a patchy center pumpkin and it's cute to put on the middle of a table because it's symmetrical or i obviously like to hang quilts in my house or just oh, kind of yes. toss over, over a couch it's a fun size I, yeah, I like that 30 by 30 size. I think that's a perfect size for so many different things. And it's, and it's, you it's know, so size, cute. You can, okay. And um, yeah, so anyway, I love it. And I'll probably end up bringing it up. Oh, I love um, that. On my, 
I don't know. I, so I that, think I want to make that. And now I got to try to decide, am I going to hang it or am I going to put it on my table? I'm not sure. That is so cute. You put something in the middle and the leaves kind of, you know, go out from, mm -hmm. from the center. Exactly. I love that. Um, I love that. And that, again, that's with uh, Amanda's Scaredy Cat fabric. So when that all comes in, we will kit those up as well. Okay. Yeah, and I love this fact because you, in the um, fabric, you get different shades of orange. It's not just one orange. And mm -hmm. so I really created a blender that you could take any quilt pattern um, and turn into um, a Halloween quilt. Like this one is a pattern I already have, and it's oh, with um, so green colors. I just switched out the colors, and exactly. you have this fun like Halloween kind of fall feel. Exactly. Anyway, this is a charm pack. I'm actually not... teaching this pack uh -huh. at um, Garden of in September. Yay, Garden of Quilts in September. Yes, cool. If for well, those I'm of teaching... you who don't, will you tell us what Garden of Quilts is for those who might not know? Because this is something that we're inviting everyone to. It's gonna be, it's so fun. This is the second year Riley Blake has, um, put this on with connection um, of Thanksgiving point and it's literally a garden, a huge, gorgeous, almost looks like an English garden mm -hmm. um, with just everywhere, like an exhibition hall only outside. But then also during the three day course of the event, you get to sign up for classes and um, trunk shows and meet the makers. And it's just all these uh, oh, fun. It's amazing. Disneyland for quilters. So anyway, oh, I didn't get yes. here. And so this year I'm teaching three classes and um, I hope you guys come because it'd be so fun to meet. Oh my goodness, yes. In fact, I'm trying to look it up. Do you remember what the website I have is? A, I, I have a link on my blog on the on the front page. Uh -huh. um, it links like registration. Uh, anyway, the dates, okay. everything I have. To it. Oh, good. I will look that up here and see if we can find that because that that really is an amazing event. And so many people uh, from all over the world come to, they came to yeah. it. And yeah. this year it's gonna just going to even be bigger and better. Yeah, I hope we can. Hope I, we hope can we, I hope it, it goes, right? Oh, yes. Um, okay, so look how cute the back is for this. I just have to show, like, don't you love giant orange and white polka dot back? Oh, of a quilt. yes. Who would not love so, that? You so, know, this Amanda, is a Riley Blake. Amanda, before you do, sorry, I'm just, okay. I, I want to be able okay. to, I just looked it up, so I want to make sure and everyone can see this. I'm going to share my screen real quick with you all because I want you you've got to check out Garden of Quilts let's see I'm going to share it right here so right here if you go to thanksgivingpoint.org and then events Garden of Quilts that's where you're going to see it and it really really is incredible you, there's all these classes you can take and Amanda's going to be one of the uh, guest teachers and they have all sorts of different lectures and trunk shows. Um, it really is just an just an amazing event. So if I find a picture here later on, I'm not seeing it right now. I will certainly put that up, but it really is quite the sight to see. And if you can imagine just so many uh, hundreds, literally hundreds of quilts, am I right, Amanda? hanging throughout all those beautiful yeah. gardens. Yeah. It's it's so really beautiful. quite something. So definitely check that out when you can. Okay. So sorry, I just couldn't help but want to no, share that with everyone. It's good to okay. have some plans, right? Oh, definitely. Definitely. So come September, come out to Utah, come see me as well I'll, i i yeah. will be there and then come and visit our shop while you're at it right <laughs> okay let's go ahead and show us your next quilt 
Okay. Um, this quilt is called Swiss Fall Bliss, and it's really big, so I don't even know if we're going to be able to show the whole thing, but um, you can see it on the patterns. Yep. So I'll bring it up. Let me pattern and tell you the details. So this quilt is 72 by 81. And if you've seen my Swiss kiss quilt, it um, came from that idea. Um, that one is red with a heart. And then this one is fall colors. And I'm going to get to the pumpkin here in a minute. <laughs> Apache pumpkin, if you can see that. So that is just so a little kind of cool. I just use this like yummy charcoal. Mm -hmm. It's a Riley Blake. I love it. Um, and this is um, 10 inch pre cut friendly also because each of the the little cross blocks is mm -hmm. from one tenant. So that's a fun one to kit for um, shops also. Oh, definitely. And it's so super fast, which you're going to love because here, let me show you. Here's the back of the pattern. You can kind of mm -hmm. see. Can you see mm -hmm. that? Yeah. Um, literally just like squares. And once you have those sewn, which is fast, like you can put this together in a day, which I love. Oh, and so I, I hang this. I love that. Um, hang this one up in my house. Um, in I the love fall. that. Oh, this it looks so, like the perfect, the just the perfect cozy quilt to just lay over the couch or. You know, at fall time, I love it. Um, so that yeah, is, it's a good. Tell throw. us again the name and of that. It's Swiss. Swiss fall bliss. It's this right here. Swiss fall bliss. Swiss. All right. Perfect. Um, um. So how I came up with the Swiss, the original Swiss kiss pattern with the hearts was um. Back when everyone was making Swiss cross quilts you remember what was that like a couple of years ago yeah and I'd see it I was like well I don't know if I want to make one but then my husband is 100% Swiss on both sides they're both well, from Switzerland so like I, I feel like I need to make one and then I was like but I want to have I want it to be my own I want to like put my own spin on it so then I came up with the heart um and then now the pumpkin so I love it anyway so that the inspiration was yeah guilt <laughs> I should make one <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's right <laughs> no I think it is so cute I'm I'm absolutely in love with that you know what the hardest part for me is I I gotta decide which ones I'm gonna be able to do <laughs> that one is easy because no triangles well there's just four little ones for the pumpkin. so <laughs> there you go um, it's like that if you want a fast mm -hmm. fast quilt uh, so I'm going to show you this one. This one was, um, this one is a lot of triangles, but it's worth it. So this is just called Scaredy Cat. Um, okay. And I actually, this might be my favorite one. So it's Ohio Stars offsets. And then when you get down to here, there's a row of cats. You see oh my the cats? gosh, that is so cute. Yes. So you can see it on the full pattern, on this pattern here. I'll, I'll bring it up here in just a minute. So, so it's, um, it's got a row of cats, is that right? Uh-huh. Yeah, so there's like... Along the bottom, that is so here. cute. And this one is 10 inch, I don't know, somehow they all ended up 10 inch pre-cut. Pre so each of the Ohio stars is one 10 inch square. So, which may, okay. and same with the cat, so every, every little item on here is a 10 inch square. So that, that makes it easy. It. Okay. I brought okay. it on. So it is, yeah. So you could get the 10 inch pre-cuts or just, uh, you know, if your shop is kidding it, then yeah. they could cut those up for you. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that. No, that's fun. And, um, and the background fabric I don't know if you can see it's um, part of scaredy cat and it's this little um scattered shapes so it's actually like little triangles circles squares and rectangles but I love it for a background because it's not polka dots it's not I don't know it just kind of adds I, I love it with the pattern 
So it's it's very yeah. di- it's it, it's very different. I like it. Yeah, so, I like uh, that background a lot. And even uh-huh. even for yeah. someone who maybe wasn't into cats for, per se, that uh, it, it, it makes it perfect though for Halloween because when you think of Halloween, you think of black cats too, right? So yeah. So see, everyone at some point. <laughs> That's right. And also, if you you could just substitute out the cats for more stars, oh. and it would just be a star quilt. You know what? That's if, true. And then we're not and we're not friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. If you want to be Amanda's friend, you got to love the cats. <laughs> well, I I love everyone. Mufasa and I love. You love all the people. Yeah. <laughs> um, and for, um, and this one is actually has a lot of cats on it. It's called Cats and Pumpkins. Okay. And. Oh, look how cute. And then cats and four pumpkins. So, um, and this one uses the bird skeleton background, which I love even more because it's super scattered and you get a lot of negative space. <laughs> um, so it just kind of is really subtle, but they're these little bird skeletons. That so, kind of, anyway, that kind of I love takes you by surprise a little bit, doesn't it? <laughs> I love it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so that one's fun. Amanda, somebody wanted to had a really good question earlier and I thought, oh, I better ask this before I forget. Do you have a good way of how you hang your quilts up there on your walls? Um, yes, we can take a we can take a tour. Yeah. Uh, so the little quilts here, let's see. We'll go like this. The little quilts that I have hanging, um, I actually just use little thumbtacks, and I put them because I figured, well, you can pin fabric. I can just use a small thumbtack. So they're oh. actually thumbtacks, the small one. Let's okay. see that it's got window like back here. So there there's more go. back there. Um, so those are just thumb tacked in the corner. And then obviously a larger quilt, you wouldn't want to thumb tack. So here um, you can see I have this one hanging and it's I'm gonna angle is a curtain rod. That's what we do in the curtain shop. Rod. Yeah. And yeah. I noticed when I stayed at Missouri Star Quilt. They have them hanging like this too, and sometimes people walk by them and they they go like that. But that's okay. I like that there's clips because it distributes the weight rather than just two quilt hangers in the corner that yeah. starts to stretch. Mm-hmm. Um, Makes it a ton so those, easier to take them on and off. Yeah, I mean, just switch them. And so here is gingham cats. This is the same as cats and pumpkins. This is the original, oh, the original look at part. That. That's cute. And, um, isn't that cute? Mm-hmm. So that's hung with a curtain rod. I love and that. then uh, we'll go downstairs. I have like three home improvement projects going. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, look, at, look how talented you are to carry the computer and do this at the same time. <laughs> yeah. So then this is, I always have one, and here's my front door. Oh, and, um, I- Will you tell us a little bit about your front door? Because I've been following this journey of yours about your front door, and I think it's really sweet. Tell us about it. You mean the hearts? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Well, I saw it on Instagram, this A World of Hearts. So I don't know if you guys have seen it, where during quarantine, you fill your windows with hearts. So Sally and I cut out all these hearts with the Sizzix. And we uh, used a glue stick, and we um, we glued them in, and it's so cute. It's like my favorite yeah. thing. I'm never taking them out. <laughs> They're gonna stay. There. That's right. Because it looks like stained glass in the house, and it's I just like. It. Makes- I love it. I love it. And then I love your sayings that you put on the wall, just as good reminders to your family, right? Yeah. This is um, our. We're doing a word a day for two weeks before Easter, so that's on my. Um, anyway, so I've taped them to the front door. I love it. So, and then I love it. Shout a quilt. 
here. This is my lemon quilt. Oh, cute. Um, and so, you can see how she's hung that on <clears throat> the curtain rod there as well. Yeah. And then above up here, I have, can you see that way yeah. up high? Yeah. That is my great grandma's Irish chain quilt that we hand pieced. No. And so that's on a, you are on a curtain rod also. Me. So, what a treasure. Anyway. Yeah. Wow, that is so amazing. That, a little, let's see. And then we'll just see all the quilts we have hanging. I know. This is fun. Um, and here I have, um, I switch this one out every month, and there are two clothespins with command strips attached to them. And so oh. I just clothespin that out. Oh, um, and I don't have to keep doing tacks. Um, holes so that that's like a no hole method that's for small a great quilts idea. I like that yeah that's and then over here on um, this one I actually have two quilt hangers and I'd like to switch that because you can kind of see where um where it kind of sagging so oh I love anyway that. that's a little about hanging up both hey that was good Good to know. I love that. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you for the tour. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty... I won't show you the mess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, that's pretty impressive, Amanda. I don't know if I dare uh, take anyone on a tour at my house right now. <laughs> no, that's great. Well, I'm, I'm moving quickly. <laughs> so you can't... There you go. I love it. Oh my gosh. And now we're in your sewing space again, which is so, so inspiring. Oh my goodness. So, um, have you shown us October stars yet? Um, you know what, that one, my friend Jan, who lives in Logan made that one. So she has that at her house. Jan, um, I'm coming after you. <laughs> <laughs> but this is, the, um, oh, there this we is go. The, I have the old version done. I love, Halloween I love this quilt oh so much because really it doesn't it doesn't scream Halloween it's whatever you want it to be so even if you were just to have the the quilt and you know choose your own fabrics that would just be amazing I had the other version somewhere I lost it anyway yeah it's um you could make anything it could be in you know any could be a Christmas quilt, could be a red, white, and blue quilt. It's I, not, I really I love how sorry. you have the um, outside of each of those stars. You have the, the gray, you know, um, like hourglass blocks there. I I love the way those are set. Yeah, it kind of is a little bit. You know, I mean, a star block, there's been a million of them. So you right. just try to make it a little. It's a little different something. than what I've seen. I like that a lot. Yeah. I like that a lot. I would love to make this in red, white, and blue. I think it would be so cute. Mm -hmm. That would be really, Going really on cute. That. I love that. And then there's one final one I want you to show. And that is all you need is love and cats. <laughs> Yeah, this isn't part, this isn't part of Scaredy Cat. It's no. just um, a pattern that I released around Valentine's Day, and I still have to bind it. It's <laughs> sitting here waiting, but it's so darling, and it's such a fun pattern. And if you don't love cats, then you just don't do the cat block. Right. So it's dashes with um, this little design. And what's fun about it is that it is only one block. It's not, um, there's not like a separate block for this. So mm -hmm. the actual churn dash block looks like this. Okay. And when you put them together with the sap, it forms this um, kind of like a chain or this little like checkerboard kind of pattern. Well, it looks like, oh my goodness. Wow. So it looks like you, it almost looks like you have a nine patch that's created a secondary pattern right. there. I love that. Yeah. 
but it's again it's just you only make one block and then sashing so i love easy easy patterns and then in the corner if you want there's the little cat head that's so cute <laughs> it's kind so, of that little can... it's that little element of surprise <laughs> like you didn't quite expect cat. that <laughs> so um anyway and these fabrics are super cute they're by riley blake um let me think if I can remember the name. Petals and Pots. And they're yeah. just like so skinny. And anyway, again, this, you could do any, any fabrics, such a versatile full pattern. Oh, absolutely. So one, I think that, that is so is... cute. So cute. Yeah, everyone's loving your patterns, my friend. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I love it. That's great. Um, let me see. Barb shares here. I love the idea of using command strips with clothespins to uh, hang a small quilt. I have one I want to hang, and now I know I can hang it. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes so, I'll just, at Christmas or Halloween, you know, sometimes you have more than normal. So I'll just add some, and then you can just take them down, and you haven't damaged the walls. So. Mm -hmm start putting that. quotes everywhere and then betty shares i really like the word of the day out in the front door positive thoughts as you leave for the day although we are to stay home stay safe so <laughs> good message right or in our as we, as we walk past the front door exactly <laughs> exactly exactly i love that oh great comments here okay so let me just kind of going through these quickly. Oh, <laughs> you'll like this, Amanda. Kathy shares, good to hear you have projects that still need binding done. <laughs> oh, there's four sitting here. And it, I got them at the beginning of quarantine. And I you think we could get them done. But we're so busy staying <laughs> home. Staying home. <laughs> Who knew it would be such a whirlwind of staying home and being staying busy right oh. do you are you a, a are you someone who likes to bind by hand or by machine um i bind by hand i've tried machine and i don't know i it's it's easier for me to do it by hand yeah. and it's fun it's i finally get to sit down <laughs> well it, it is kind of nice to be able to sit down and relax and be able to take time to do that for sure Yes. I love doing it by hand. All right. Cindy asks this question. Since you use the clothespin command hooks, do you bother to put a hanging sleeve on the back of your wall hanging quilts? No, I don't. There you go. So I just flip them up. And if it was a little bigger, you could do four across if it was bigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you definitely could do that. That's actually a really good idea then you would prevent a lot of the sag coming in. Yeah. And Annette shares, I love her patterns and colors and we can be friends because I have a cat that is 15 years old and he keeps me company oh. for now. <laughs> oh. I love felines. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any other pets? Um, you know, we just have Mufasa. Um, at one time we had three cats. Um, but the two, Tuntus was 19 when he passed, Tabitha was 19, and now we, and Marbles, um, we had another Bengal, it was Ella's, and he ran away. He was a really wild, a wild Bengal, and so Mufasa's from a different breeder, and his temperament is completely different, so we just have Mufasa. Oh, well, Mufasa is, oh, beautiful, such a beautiful cat. So want a kitten and I'm like well if we get a kitten the cat's not gonna love me anymore that's it's gonna <laughs> love the kitten that's right. not getting a kitten. no 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 I can't you are you're not gonna share no way <laughs> no. <laughs> that's right kitten. um Linda shares it's a great balanced Ohio star pattern so many possibilities yeah and actually um that pattern I wrote that before scaredy cat um, my granddad was from Ohio and they have, they had this cat and they actually had a portrait taken. This is like back in the early 
20s when, you know, you just don't take pictures. So they, I have this portrait of Kitty Bluebell, this black background, and it's this fluffy white cat. And I was like, I just want to make this Ohio cat quilt. And so oh. that was the inspiration was this Ohio star and this Kitty Bluebell. And anyway, that's how that came up. I so. love, see, that's where inspiration comes from, right? When you think about it, it's it's from thinking of those stories that remind you of, you know, the different people in your life. I think that's wonderful. So, yeah, I want to make a, I think What's it'd that? be really cute with just new, I want to make a farmhouse version of mm -hmm. the um, Ohio Star Cats. And just have it be all grays and blacks and creams. I think it would be really pretty. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So, Cleta's asking, what's your pattern company name? It is Jedi Craft Girl. Right? Um, yeah, that's just my blog, but the pattern is just my name. That's Amanda just my company Nita name. Is. Yeah. Okay. So, maybe what I should do is just type that real quick. And hopefully I spell that correctly. <laughs> Amanda Niederhauser. There you go. I'll, I think I got it. Um, and these are my very first printed patterns. I have only done PDF patterns in my Etsy shop. Mm -hmm. um, just because, you know, you don't just get 10 printed. You need to get 500 printed at right. a time. So this was a good, like, launching off. Point well, I hope, so, uh, I hope you will continue to do printable patterns because anything yeah. anything that you do, I will bring in because I absolutely love your style and I love how you how you present things. It's just very Aww. doable, very doable. Thank so I you. hope you'll continue to do that for uh, for stores to be able to carry your stuff. So yeah, I'm excited sure. about it. So Sarah shares, I see new projects in my future, and I love to hand bind because I can sit quietly and appreciate my work. That's a good way to look at it. Yes, yeah, so you like get to connect with it instead of just like sewing and then it's done. It's like it's on your lap and it's in your hands. I love that. Exactly. It's a good way to. That's a great. That's a great perspective. I've never thought of it that way. I've, I've always thought about it of slowing down, but I've never thought about it as a way to appreciate my work. So I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, what else do we have here? Care Lisa shares. My cat is currently in my craft room window, sitting on the pillow. I finally made him yesterday. <laughs> there you go. Oh, those of you who saw something. I think it's, I want to, let's see, show us, show us Mufasa's uh, little birthday present that you made him. Oh, uh, he's sleeping on it. Oh, okay. Then we don't want to disturb him. It's actually this quilt right here. I just made it in his colors. <laughs> it's got um, leopard print and green because his That's eyes are so green. That's so sweet. That Not so sweet. at all. <laughs> That's right. And yes, people are asking if we will be carrying the kits. And yep, we sure will be. So plan on seeing those coming up here very soon. And Gloria. And I'm has hoping a, to be, I'm hoping to be at your store in August. Yes. If Ella pulls back because Ella goes to Utah State. And so we were gonna do a trunk show and maybe yes. a class or I don't know. Oh whatever we let's, let's do it all. Let's just plan on it. Ah. <laughs> you, you you got it you got it gloria asks how do you label do you label your quilts oh my gosh now i have this whole guilt thing no stop asking <laughs> <laughs> I them and i write about them on my blog and then that's gonna have to be <laughs> i want to label them it's like when i'm done i usually have to like hurry to the next thing I know, I, I should know. Have... You got to get those labels on, my friend. Yes, thanks for the guilt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's all we need. Just more guilt. Why not? <laughs> I made for my children. Should we talk you know, about that, Matt? Why not? Why not? I think we can all relate. But let's be honest here. Has Chris labeled any of her quilts? No. Just saying. Okay. 
I, I, I'm saying I need to do it myself as well. Casey shares that uh, your sewing room is amazing. I'm getting ready to cut out hearts for my front door. Well, oh, look yay. at that. Good. See, you've Love inspired it. someone to do that. I think that is yeah. wonderful. All right. So before we end, there's a couple more things I want to do with you. And that is, I know you have a really great giveaway today to offer. What do you have for us? Um, well, I'm just, I'm offering the only thing I really have to give away, not the cat these days. <laughs> um, you can, you can, I'm giving away a whole set of all six patterns. Yay! Thank you. So, thank you. Um, so, and Sal, oh, go I ahead. Bags for you. What's that? Oh, I there? said Sally. I said, Sally, will put them in Ziploc bags for you. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Yay, Sally. Let's hear it for Sally. <laughs> I love that. So one person's going to win all six or six will win mm -hmm. one. One person's going to win all six. Awesome. Okay. So well, how it, we do however we want to do it. Yeah, I, we can do six uh, winners or you one. Know what? Let's spread you the love. Let's spread the love. How about we choose okay. six winners and we okay. will, um, and you can have your choice of any of the one, the patterns and I'll let you know, Amanda. They can, they just get to pick one of the six. So if they all pick this one, that's fine. Okay. So you can just pick one. Perfect. Perfect. So one. perfect. And we announced those winners on Saturday. So I, what I, okay. what everyone knows how to do this by now, but if you're brand new to doing the online sewing summit, all you need to do is just type in below this video and let us know uh, what you learned, an aha moment, what you're excited about, what you're looking forward to, uh, of the things that Amanda shared today. And if you wouldn't mind sharing it with your friends, we would appreciate that as well for everyone to maybe tag somebody that they think would love these quilt patterns as much as you do. So definitely um, share the love on our sewing summit and uh, we will choose winners on Saturday. Plus my girlfriend's quilt shop is also giving away a $50 gift card to a uh, a new person each day this week so each day you attend the summit it enters your chance again to be a part of a $50 gift card so every day this week we will be giving away another $50 gift card and again all those winners will be announced on Saturday all right thank you Amanda for that giveaway and before you leave us today can you give us some parting words of life advice and wisdom from Corona California Hi. <laughs> oh, life advice. Um, well, you know, I was just, you know, we're all just living this really weird life right now in really weird circumstances that I don't think anyone possibly could imagine a global pandemic that is literally affecting every single person. Right. Um, I think sometimes, you know, for me, it's the days of, you know, you have all the emotions all day, like you're doing really great. And then you hear something or you pause and then it hits you. And then, um, you know, you feel that and your emotions are just really just right on edge, having a missionary far away, you know, your hearts, my heartstrings are extra tugged at the uncertainty. But I think what we can do is just look for ways to help other people sending texts, doing live Facebook things, doing Zooms with your family, uh, dropping off something, just trying to connect with people so they don't feel alone. Because yeah. yesterday I had a friend call and just said, I felt like I should call you today. And we had such a nice Aww. phone conversation. Yeah. And, and that was just so sweet. Um, I just think, you know, we're sewing masks, we're, we're donating, we're helping. And I just think the more we can do that, the more we're going to we're going to help each other. Mm -hmm. And I feel like we are all feeling the exact same way. And yeah. it's just hard to not be able to hug somebody or see someone in person. So we have to yeah. get creative. Absolutely. Um, and for that. me, I just, just working on strengthening my faith. I'm a religious 
person. Um, I, you know, reading the Bible and reading about Paul being in prison, shipwrecked in prison, and what he writes about joy and contentment and peace and happiness Mm -hmm. in those circumstances, there's a lot to relate to. And that keeps me going. I love that. Thank you. Perfect, a perfect way to, uh, to bring on the Easter uh, celebration as well. Right. And we're also on Friday, we are all um, go, we're encouraging like this global fast and day of prayer on Friday for all those who are working on this virus, who are affected, just, just, you know, I love how that's going to connect to Easter. So I do too. lots of good. Yes. Lots good, of right? good. So many good people out in this world. Yep. Bringing, bringing us all together yep. for sure. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. You have been so wonderful today. And I've had such a good, a good time just hanging out with you. It's, it's been a while. Like and it's... <laughs> exactly. So I appreciate everything that you shared today. I think you've inspired a lot of people today, including myself. And it's just been fun to, to see a little bit part of your life there. Your, your home is beautiful, yeah. my friend. And your sewing space yeah. is an inspiration. So, Aww. and everything Thanks. you're doing. And I almost forgot. I, I wrote myself a note and I, I don't want to leave this, this broadcast without mentioning one more thing because I think this stands for some congratulations here. You have a new book coming out. Tell us about that. Yes. And when will it be here? Um, it's coming in August this year. It's with CNT Publishing. Okay. And it's a book with um, 15 new patterns. Yes. And it's really cute. And I'm so excited. And this has been over a year. And it's so hard to be quiet and just be like, <laughs> no, don't say anything yet. It's too early. People will be bored of it. So this is the first time I've, I've even mentioned it, but I'm like, we're almost to May. So it's anyway, time. it's uh, time. Yeah. We got to, we got to write this down. Do you, can you tell us the title of it? Um, I don't know. I better not. <laughs> okay. I don't want to get you into trouble, but, she, but. She, you do have a book coming out in August and my friends, you can guarantee that I will have it. I will be carrying it for sure. And uh, we look forward to that. And congratulations on now being an author of a book. That's exciting. Yeah. That's very Fun. exciting. It's quite, it's quite an ex- so. Oh, I don't know where you find all the time. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a lot of work to have a pattern. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you, my friend. You are so awesome. I appreciate you. you being here. And I appreciate I hope to see you in August. Yes. Oh, for sure. We will definitely plan on August. And uh, and then if not, for sure in September, right? When you come for yeah. Garden of Quilts. So anyway, um, oh, my little earpiece fell out. There we go. All right, everyone. Uh, I will go ahead and say goodbye to you, Amanda, and say my parting right. words. Thanks again, Amanda. this is fun thank you all right everyone i hope you enjoyed today as much as i have thank you so much for being here it means the world to me it means the world to my staff to have your support and especially through this difficult time that we're all facing it's just nice to be together isn't it i love it i look forward to this every single day of being with all of you my friends my girlfriends Wherever you are, wherever you may be, I hope you are staying healthy. I hope you are staying safe. I hope you're staying home. And I really hope that you keep sewing. All right. Goodbye for now, and I'll see you tomorrow.